Hello, Kitty. In the last video, we talked about the coloring stage of the comic book creation process. The part that feels like a treat, a reward, a walk in the park. When was the last time you got up early in the morning or during a quiet afternoon to take a walk? Remember the feeling? Did you notice how when your body is in motion, your mind is calm? I noticed that too. It's calm and a little more thoughtful. Have you thought about this, Kitty? What motivates you to write a story and to create an illustrated book? I've got a few reasons myself. Some of them are probably no different from yours. Let me share you my top three. First, writing a story is a way to understand our experiences. This is why it feels like an exploration. We start off with something familiar, which is the premise. And then we venture to unknown territory, which is the heart of the story. And then all the while not knowing ahead of time where it will lead us until we get to the end, which is the revelation, a moment of reflection, or the moment when we come to understand what made us write it. The second thing that motivates me to write and create a comic book is to be able to create a gift. I mean this in two ways. I literally create comic books as a gift to close family and dear friends. And I also create comic books as a way to give back to the culture that inspires me to create art. Now the third thing that motivates me to create a comic book is it gives me a reason to try out a new medium. In my first comic book, Mumbo's Jumbo, I used watercolor for the first time. I used two colors and I used them straight off the tube, no color mixing. In my second comic book, Not in Sleep, I tried using toned paper and mixed media comprising watercolor, water soluble graphite and white gouache. In my latest book, Dragon Song, I worked with a color triad and tried color mixing using three tubes of gouache paint and using one watercolor paint straight off the tube. This time around, I'm using a mixture of dry media for the first time, comprising colored pencils, pastel pencil, charcoal, and wax oil pastels on white, black, and toned paper. Now, you see why I consider the coloring stage my favorite stage? It's the part when I get to develop a new relationship with a new medium. It also feels like completing a thick coloring book with materials I'm not yet comfortable with. But over time, as I progress through more and more pages, I begin to learn the different features and limitations of my chosen media. Through this hands-on process, I also learn what makes the medium so good and learn to appreciate what it cannot do. In that sense, it's just like when you meet somebody new and then you get to spend more time with them. You get to share the same experiences, the same ups and downs, and eventually you get to know them very well that you can see a long future with them in the picture. Have you made new friends lately, Kitty? It's a wonderful thing. All right, that's all for now. I'll talk to you later.